Hello everyone and welcome back to Susa Place, where we're going to play another challenge in GeoGuessr. 5 minutes per round, the seed is in the video description as usual, and you can play and then come back and see how I did and compare our decisions or our playstyle, whatever you like. Well, we have the orthodox cross there with the diagonal down there. We also have Russian text here. So we're probably near a border of some sort, maybe five, five kilometers. Now what's this? It's a map of a region, but what region? <clears throat> That's not the Ukraine or something like that, right? Or Mongolia. And it looks like it's mountains, well, mountains all around, really. Could be this region, maybe? I don't know exactly how large this area is. Does that say Kamchatka? That would be over here. Mm, not quite. So... Let's have a look at this border here. Um, Zika. Mm. P. If only I could read that. I don't know the regions in Russia, I will admit. Here are two regions. It's the Astrakhan. It doesn't say Astrakhan. It doesn't say. Kalmykia either. So we could scan through all the regions like this. Rotov Oblast. That's not it either. Now the, the word on the bottom could be Oblast. But I'm not sure. It's not the same number of letters. It's not that one either. Let's instead move around a bit and see if we can find any... Can we get past this checkpoint? Yes, this person is kind enough to open the door for us. Thank you very much, sir. The Google car gets through. Now, however, uh, thank you for your kindness, but I think I want to go this way instead. I saw a sign over here. Automobilia something. That's probably telling us what how we drive a car here. H13. I can't tell anything from these signs. I'm gonna put us down somewhere around here. Temporarily, and then we're gonna have move along this road for a while. Maybe we'll find find something else. Was that a lake or was that the ocean? Probably not the ocean. The railroad is close by. Mm, lots of mountains and hills nearby. That doesn't help unless you know more about where these things would be in, on the map. And these, this map doesn't really do a good job of showing where the hilly terrain is. Now, this, this looks kind of hilly over here. Let's check these two. Omsk Oblast, Tumen Oblast. Now, if the second word was oblast, then maybe the first word was none of those. Was it Novosibirsk oblast? That could have been it, actually. Let's put us on this border. I guess oblast means region or uh, state or something like that. 
Tomsk, Novosibirsk. Maybe I should have checked what the other side of that sign said. Okay. Kantimansi Autonomous Okrug. Oh, we were in the Ukraine. Really? And we were on the border to... We were in the border between... Uh, Zakarpatska and Lvivska? Or maybe we saw a border to Poland? I'm not sure. I think it was this border we started at. Alright, well, I didn't think that was Ukraine. I don't know how to tell the difference. But, uh, yeah, that wasn't a very good guess then. Let's have a look at the next one. Well, thank you. Houses and parked cars. We're in some sort of suburb area. Uh, let's go this way. The signs say no stopping. Birch trees. Northern Hemisphere, I think. Pretty long license place there. Not sure what country that would be. Now, we have some red houses, but it doesn't quite look like Scandinavia. Although this sign looks pretty much like the one we have in Sweden, but this one is mirrored and we don't have that. Oh, we're still in... No? Rinom. Euros. They're using Euros at least. Kaiki Anokset. Is that Finland? This could be Finland. Alla Hovinti. All right. So we're somewhere in Finland then. I thought we were in a bit more Eastern Europe, but uh, I can't argue with those facts. That would also explain that the pedestrian crossing sign looks kind of like the Swedish ones. There are similar road signs in Sweden and Finland are pretty similar. Some small differences but uh, also the red houses with white trim well, we can't drive there it says cars aren't allowed so let's go back out onto this road okay now we need a, a sign to tell us what cities we're close to or at least a number for the road that would be useful enough. I couldn't move that way? Now I can't move either way. I'm stuck. Alright, back to start then. That should, do, that should work. Let's go the other way. By that I mean the same way, but let's go the other way over here. Okay, well, that's a dead end. Hmm, let's put the market down in Finland before we forget. I'm thinking South Finland. Maybe we're in Porvo, why not? Okay, let's go the other way here then. Okay, here it looks like to be a uh, now this is the, the way we went before. Let's go the other direction. There are buses here, apparently. And... It looks to be a city region, but not the center of the city. Okay, here we go. Helsinki, straightforward. Hamina and Kuvula as well. Helsinki, of course, the capital. So we would get there through the E18 and the 7 and the 15. The E18 is the one we're on, actually. The 7 and 15 
Press the six. Could be on this side. Which way are we looking? We're looking south. Hmm. So maybe we're going south and then after we've gone south for a bit we'll go on to the AE18. So we should be able to find a 7 or 15. There's the 15. So where's the 7? This is way up here. Let's put us down over here for now. At least we should be... Okay, let's look at the cities. Kuvola is also on the way. And that's Kuvola. So, yeah, we're going to have to use the 15 and and 7 and E18 to get there. But we're probably up here then. In Mikili, maybe. Is the 7 around here somewhere? Because that would make sense. Okay, we weren't up there actually. We were in uh, we were in Kotka, going south to the E18. I don't quite know why the 15 and 7 were mentioned, unless the 7 is oh this is the 7. I zoomed in, but I didn't see it. I should have zoomed in further. All right, that explains it. I still would have put us up here because the 15 doesn't quite make sense. Oh, it does because the 15 goes here. So this is the 7, 15 and E18. 7, 15, E18. Okay, that makes sense. That would actually have uh, told us exactly where we were if we figured out that the E18 was also the 7. Alright, well, it's pretty good still. Finland is not large enough to give us a horrible score if we're on the right place. Zaragoza. Bienvenidos. That means welcome. To. Zaragoza. Coahulia. Now Zaragoza is in Spain. I believe. There it is. What does this mean? Welcome to Spain. Let's see if we can find Coahulia. Maybe it's welcoming us to the region and not to the city. The region is called Aragon, so that's not it then. So if Saragossa is to the north, we would be perhaps down here. Somewhere. Let's figure out what road we're on. Move away from Saragossa, going south. See if I find any signs. This could, of course, be a Saragossa in some other country, but we're driving on the right and looking at the landscape could be Spain. Let's uh, can't go on the other side, but let's go back to start and go into Saragossa instead. See if this is actually a city. Okay, now we're moving. What's that one say? And why is it on this side? Alright, you're driving this side. Morelos and Engido Tio Pio. Morelos. Is that close by? Would tell us what road we were on. Well, it can't be that far, right? Hido uh, Tio Pio. Probably not that close. Okay, well, I can't find. Exactly. This might not be Saragossa the city. However, we do have welcome. You're riding the bike. 
Motrono Servinos. It looks like some sort of I don't know, tourist resort. Okay, now we're getting into city down here. Now it's quite for some reason this doesn't quite look like look right to me. Saragossa Coa. Could it be that we're in Saragossa in South America, maybe? Argentina? Mexico? The colors are Mexican. Let's have a quick look in Mexico and see if there's a Saragossa in Mexico. Large enough to see. Well, not on a quick look. This feels more Mexican than Spanish. Look at that. Hmm. Is it enough to move the marker? I feel like the Saragossa in, in Spain would be like much larger of a city if you enter it. This looks a lot more like a small city. I don't see a Saragossa. There could very well be one here. I'm gonna go with my gut and move the marker to Mexico. And then I'm gonna have a look around. Church, anything that, except for the red, white, and green that supports my guess. We were in Mexico, so that wasn't totally off then. There it is, Saragossa. It's right near the US border, actually. There's Morelos. And I suppose we can find El Macho. We can find uh, that other place, perhaps. Hmm, maybe not. Saragossa Coa. Right, what is Coa? Is that the region? Do we have a border here? Ah, Coa, Coahuila and Chihuahua. Coahuila was the region. So if I'd known about this region, I would have perhaps realize that this is where we were. But I haven't learned the Mexican regions. Baja California I know about, Chihuahua, I remember. Then we have Sonora, Coahuila, Nuevo Leon, New Leon, that's new, easy to remember. Sinaloa, Durango, Zacatecas, Nayarit, San Luis Potosi, Carajona, Javica, Colima, Michoacan, Hidalgo, Puebla, Guero, Oaxaca, Tabasco, I can remember that one, the hot sauce, Chiapas, Yucatan, I remember, and Quintina Roo. It connects to some other Roo on the other side of the, of the ocean. And you can ride a big bug under, under the ground to get to the other side, maybe. Uh, anyway, enough obscure references. Let's move on. Here's a guy in a... Is that a cowboy hat? That looks like an Australian hat, but he's uh, driving on the right side of the road. He's, just, he's riding his bike on the right side of the road. Now, you wouldn't do that in Australia. You would be on the left, right? I mean, right, left. This guy's on the right too, so probably on the right side then. And it looks like we're stuck here. Can we move back? Is this back? Okay, this is back. 50. Are we stuck in both directions? Oh no, we can't go any further in any direction here. Seems like the Google car has made a little loop around this uh, bend and then turned around and went back. Unless I can... There's a guy driving on the right. Is this new? We haven't been down this road. Can we go this way?
Okay, it looks like we're moving. The arrow says broken. So, okay, now the arrows are straightening out. Yeah, we're driving on the right. But this doesn't look like the uh, American road signs. And Gavana. Attention a cliente santa.com.co. Colombia? Clean water. Agua pura. Colombia. Pretty open. Some, some animals out on the field. I don't see what else it could be. This looks like a plain open region, but then again, we're probably closer to the water. I suppose it would be more, more of a, I don't know, a jungle. It's probably not a jungle over there. Oh no! Did I get turned around again? Where's that guy on the motor cycle? Okay, we're, it looks like. We get stuck. Can we get move forward this way? Yeah, we're moving forward even though the arrow is pointing to the to our left. Okay, there we go. Shaki se contre. Don't know. That's supposed to mean uh, lots of uh, signs. They seem to telling us be telling us the speed limit every hundred meters or so, and that we can't pass, and that we're turning. It's almost as if we're uh, on a road in a video game, an old video game where there were road signs all all the time because you didn't have that many different sprites to put in, so you used the uh, the turn sign like 50 times before every bend. Montal... Montalana... Maybe. And we can't move there. I have to use the arrow again. And now we can move. Okay. I don't know where in Colombia we would be. I don't see any... Any hints or... For all the for all the signs we see, we don't see one telling us what city we're headed towards or what number of road we're on. But it looks quite recently built. The road looks newer than uh, the area around it. And there it ended. Now this looks more like the road in the area around it matches so maybe that's why the arrows are kind of weird because they've built a new road which is near the old road but the arrows on the map are thinking we're still on the old road mm, no looks like this one has the road right there well we were in Colombia and we were in this region here so I should have gone with that I guess green is more more vegetation. The greener it is, the thicker the forest. Maybe this is the open landscape. Let's go with that for next time we have to make a guess. So this would be pretty non-green then. Which way is this guy driving? He's driving on the right side of the road. And he is driving a pickup truck. We have yellow on the central line of the road, which they have in the US. The cars don't look quite American, despite the first pickup truck. Well, that one looks American. It's another pickup truck. Well, this one doesn't look American. I mean, every car doesn't have to be American for us to be in the US. Uh, especially since this guy says Iowa dot. That 
that's a good hint. I wish every vehicle had that. So I'm going to put us in Iowa. I mean, this is not a guarantee, but as good a hint as any. Then we have this that says litter removal courtesy of Union County Democrats. So the Union County Democratic Party are the ones that pick up litter around this road. That's, that's neat. The politicians go out and actually do some road work like that. I'm pretty sure that's not how it works. Um, so this is probably a highway of some sort. Here we are. That looks like a Minnesota sign. Oh, of course you had to go with bad camera right there. Now that probably says something county. P33. Can we find a P33 in Iowa? I'm guessing that would be this size of road. Because the highways always have this uh, sort of a badge look. Yes, this is the 33 that we're crossing. Uh, US Highway 34. So 34 on one of these badge looking things would be the one we're on. And we're headed east to west. There's the 30. There's the 20. So logic dictates that it would be one of these. This is the highway F17. US Highway 34. Okay, we might be out here then. 30. There's the 34. Alright, so can we find Osage Street? Probably not, right? Fig Avenue. Ginkgo Avenue. Brooks Road. Hmm. What was the other sign? Let's. Can we pop in here? Oh, of course that will happen. Get back on the main road, please. Thank you. Can I have a look from here? Hmm. Not quite. It's a P and something. But I can't read it. P33? Is that it? I don't think I can find a 33 next to the 34 here. Looks like odd numbers go north-south and even numbers go east-west. But I can't find a... Swedesburg! Uh, Gladstone 34 is going all the way across. I don't think we're in Iowa anymore. No, we're in Illinois now. But that car said Iowa, so I'm going to stick in Iowa. Where in Iowa though? Fairfield? Batavia? I'm going to put us down over here. Agency? Monterville? Zoom in a little further. Don't have any 33. There's a 32. A livestock market as well. Not that we saw one of those. 34 goes on. 69. There's the H33. It's got to be close enough. I'm going to put us over here instead then. It might be an H33, but it looks like a P. Oh, I should have gone. I should have kept going. It was way over here. Still in Iowa? Still in Iowa. Near Creston and Afton. There's the P39. I suppose that's what we saw. Kingsfisher Avenue. Lark Avenue. Minnow Avenue. Two Lakes Drive. I'm not sure if I went east or west. Pole Road. I would have gotten to Creston if I'd gone this way. Well, we got Iowa, right? Thanks to that uh, utility vehicle. Uh, 
and uh, that was the last of it. So the score was 15,700. The Russian one, when I thought it was Russia, when it was Ukraine, of course, really lowered the score. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the episode, and uh, I hope you had fun if you played along. And I hope to see you again next time.